Hello everyone, what's up? Right here I have a minimalistic landscape image. On this shot I want to apply some nice pastel sunset color tones. That means I mostly change the sky, add some more warm tones to the bright areas while the top of the sky will get a darker blue tone. And overall just reduce the contrast of the image and get a soft dreamy photo out of this. For this shot the editing will be done in Adobe Lightroom Classic so there won't be much going on. Then let's jump into it. Right away I'm going down to the lens corrections and just activate those two settings. Then let's go back to the top. For the profile I'm going with Adobe Landscape since I like the colors of those profile most on this image. For the white balance I want to adjust the temperature so that I get some more warmer colors in the image. So let's just turn it up a bit. Also I could add some tint. Alright then it's time to adjust the exposure of the image. First for this I'm dropping the highlights all the way down. This way we get some nice details, especially around the moon which is now way more visible. Also I'm slightly increasing the shadows. And then I think I can increase the whites without risking any overexposure for now. Okay. As said in the intro, I want to have less contrast on this image, so I'm dropping it as well. And this will just help create the soft look I'm aiming for for this shot. Now I do want to have some more sharpness, so I'm increasing the texture and the clarity. And let's also add some vibrance. That's it for the base adjustments. Now the sky does look a little boring to me, so let's fix that using a few local adjustments. That means I do have applied two gradiated filters over the sky. And as we are getting closer to the top of the image, I want the photo to be darker. So I have applied two differently sized gradiated filters here. Let's start with the big one and just slightly decrease the exposure. Alright, nice. And for the top one, I'm basically doing the same. Just drop the exposure. And we get this nice gradient from bright to dark in the sky. Then I also have applied a few radial filters. Here's one just around the moon for which I want to add some subtle glow. So just increase the blacks a bit and let's drop the dehaze slightly. And that's it. Then to add some further glow I have applied those two radial filters on the right side where the sky is the brightest. And again, I'm just increasing the blacks and I'm also dropping the dehaze. Now I do want to have some warmer colors in this area. So here I can simply use the temperature slider and introduce some more warmth here. Let's also add some tint. Alright, that looks much better. And for this smaller radial filter, I'm simply increasing the blacks a little more. And I'm also applying a stronger negative dehaze. Okay, let's also push the temperature. And that's it for the glow effect on the right side. Then I have this radial filter which covers the grass in the foreground. And in this area, I still want to have some contrast. So let's boost it first. Also, I want to have some more details in this grass. So I'm adding texture and clarity. Nice. Then we have this radial filter left. And with this one, I just want to brighten up this part of the hill by increasing the whites. Of course the sky does get affected by it, but that's easily fixed by simply using a luminance range mask. And with this range mask I can simply target the luminance values of the image. And since I don't want the highlights to be affected, I'm dropping the range. 
And now only the darker parts of this radial filter will be affected by the increased whites. All right, nice. Then that's already it for the local adjustments. Let's continue with the color grading and I'm starting with the tone curve. To be more precise, I'm starting in the red channel and I'm simply dragging this point to the left, which will introduce some more reds to the highlights just a little bit and I'm doing the same thing on the blue tones but instead of going to the left I'm going down which will make the highlights a little more yellowish. All right that's it for the tone curve then we are going to the HSL panel. Right away I don't like the green tones of this shot so I'm getting rid of them by simply dropping the green hue and I'm also dropping the yellow hue just a bit. Okay, this way we get this nice orange color tone throughout the grass in the foreground, which is way more fitting for the rest of it. And for the saturation, let's drop the orange tones and the yellow tones. And let's also drop the greens. And instead I want to boost the blue tones, the purple tones and the magenta tones a bit. All right, much, much better. Then of course I'm also applying some split toning. Let's start with the highlights right here. For the highlights, of course, I want to have a nice warm color tone somewhere in this range. But actually the saturation is a bit too much, so I'm dropping it. And I think that looks pretty good. And let's go to the midtones. And again, I'm simply going for a warm color tone. I'm again going with a rather low saturation to not overdo it here, but that's looking pretty good. So then for the shadows, I'm simply going with a cold color tone. And I'm dropping the saturation again to not make it too heavy. And that looks pretty cool. Now there's some final color grading going on in the calibration tab. And as usual, I just played around with those sliders and ended up with a reduced blue primary hue. Here I also want to boost the saturation a bit. Also I'm increasing the green primary hue and the red primary hue. And you can see with those changes, we removed the slight purple color cast of the image and gave those blue tones a stronger aqua look. And those highlights pretty much stayed the way they were before. And finally, let's just sharpen the image real quick. And that's it for editing this shot in Lightroom. Now I could actually also check the Nick collection for some nice effects. So let's right click on the thumbnail, go to Edit in Color Effects Pro 4. Right away, I want to go with the polarization effect since this will boost the colors a little more. Let's increase the strength here. And that looks pretty good. I don't want to go too strong since this would mess up the sky. Then I think I want to add another filter. The Brilliant Swarm filter does work pretty good on this shot as well. So here I'm just adding some more warmth to the shot. But I think that's really it. So let's save it like that. But at this point, I really want to stop the editing. So I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video.